Please subscribe, like and share this video. Thank you for your support. 2 US Code Chapter 20, Emergency Powers to Eliminate Budget Deficits. 2 US Code Sub Chapter I, Elimination of Deficits in Excess of Maximum Deficit Amount. 2 US Code Paragraph 904, Reports and Orders. A. Timetable The timetable with respect to this subchapter for any budget year is as follows. Date, action to be completed. January 21st notification regarding optional adjustment of maximum deficit amount. Five days before the President's Budget Submission CBO Sequestration Preview Report. The President's Budget Submission OMB Sequestration Preview Report. August 10th notification regarding military personnel. August 15th CBO Sequestration Update Report. August 20th OMB Sequestration Update Report. 10 days after end of session CBO Final Sequestration Report. 15 days after end of session OMB Final Sequestration Report. Presidential Order. B. Submission and availability of reports. Each report required by this section shall be submitted, in the case of CBO, to the House of Representatives, the Senate and OMB and, in the case of OMB, to the House of Representatives, the Senate, and the President on the day it is issued. On the following day a notice of the report shall be printed in the Federal Register. C. Sequestration Preview Reports 1. Reporting requirements on the date specified in subsection A. OMB and CBO shall issue a preview report regarding discretionary, pay-as-you-go, and deficit sequestration based on laws enacted through those dates. 2. Discretionary Sequestration Report The preview reports shall set forth estimates for the current year and each subsequent year through 2021 of the applicable discretionary spending limits for each category and an explanation of any adjustments in such limits under Section 901 of this title. 3. Pay-as-you-go sequestration reports The preview reports shall set forth, for the current year and the budget year, estimates for each of the following a. The amount of net deficit increase or decrease, if any, calculated under Section 902B of this title. b. A list identifying each law enacted in sequestration implemented after November 5, 1990, included in the calculation of the amount of deficit increase or decrease and specifying the budgetary effect of each such law. C. The sequestration percentage or, if the required sequestration percentage is greater than the maximum allowable percentage for Medicare percentages necessary to eliminate the deficit increase under Section 902C of this title. 4. Deficit sequestration reports The preview reports shall set forth for the budget year estimates for each of the following. A. The maximum deficit amount, the estimated deficit calculated under Section 903B of this title, the excess deficit, and the margin. B. The amount of reductions required under Section 902 of this title, the excess deficit remaining after those reductions have been made, and the amount of reductions required from defense accounts and the reductions required from non-defense accounts. C. The sequestration percentage necessary to achieve the required reduction in defense accounts under Section 903D of this title. D. The reductions required under Sections 903E1 and 903E2 of this title. E. The sequestration percentage necessary to achieve the required reduction in non-defense accounts under Section 903E3 of this title. The CBO report need not set forth the items other than the maximum deficit amount for fiscal year 1992, 1993, or any fiscal year for which the President notifies the House of Representatives and the Senate that he will adjust the maximum deficit deficit amount under the option under section 903 G1B of this title. 5. Explanation of differences The OMB reports shall explain the differences between OMB and CBO estimates for each item set forth in this subsection. D. Notification regarding military personnel on or before the date specified in subsection A. The President shall notify the Congress of the manner in which he intends to exercise flexibility with respect to military personnel accounts under section 905F of this title. E. Sequestration update reports on the date specified in subsection A. OMB and CBO shall issue a sequestration update report, reflecting laws enacted through those dates, containing all of the information required in the sequestration preview reports. This report shall also contain a preview estimate of the adjustment for disaster funding for the upcoming fiscal year. F. Final sequestration reports 1. Reporting requirement on the date specified in subsection A. OMB and CBO shall issue a final sequestration report, updated to reflect laws enacted through those dates. 2. Discretionary sequestration reports The final reports shall set forth estimates for each of the following a. For the current year and each subsequent year through 2021 the applicable discretionary spending limits for each category and an explanation of any adjustments in such limits under Section 901 of this title, including a final estimate of the adjustment for disaster funding b. For the current year and the budget year the estimated new budget authority and outlays for each category and the breach, if any, in each category C. For each category for which a sequestration is required, the sequestration percentage is necessary to achieve the required reduction. D. For the budget year, for each account to be sequestered, estimates of the baseline level of sequesterable budgetary resources and resulting outlays and the amount of budgetary resources to be sequestered and resulting outlay reductions. 
3. Pay as you go and deficit sequestration reports. The final reports shall contain all the information required in the pay as you go and deficit sequestration preview reports. In addition, these reports shall contain, for the budget year, for each account to be sequestered, estimates of the baseline level of sequesterable budgetary resources and resulting outlays and the amount of budgetary resources to be sequestered and resulting outlay reductions. The reports shall also contain estimates of the effects on outlays of the sequestration in each out year for direct spending programs. 4. Explanation of differences The OMB report shall explain any differences between OMB and CBO estimates of the amount of any net deficit change calculated under Section 902B of this title, any excess deficit, any breach, and any required sequestration percentage. The OMB report shall also explain differences in the amount of sequesterable 1. Resources for any budget account to be reduced if such difference is greater than $5 million. 5. Presidential order on the date specified in subsection A. If in its final sequestration report OMB estimates that any sequestration is required, the President shall issue an order fully implementing without change all sequestrations required by the OMB calculations set forth in that report. This order shall be effective on issuance. G. Within session sequestration reports an order if an appropriation for a fiscal year in progress is enacted after Congress adjourns to end the session for that budget year and before July 1st of that fiscal year that causes a breach. Ten days later CBO shall issue a report containing the information required in paragraph F2. Fifteen days after enactment, OMB shall issue a report containing the information required in paragraphs F2 and F4. On the same day as the OMB report, the President shall issue an order fully implementing without change all sequestrations required by the OMB calculations set forth in that report. This order shall be effective on issuance. HGAO Compliance Report Upon request of the Committee on the Budget of the House of Representatives or the Senate, the Controller General shall submit to the Congress and the President a report on 1. The extent to which each order issued by the President under this section complies with all of the requirements contained in this subchapter, either certifying that the order fully and accurately complies with such requirements or indicating the respects in which it does not, and 2. The extent to which each report issued by OMB or CBO under this section complies with all of the requirements contained in this subchapter, either certifying that the report fully and accurately complies with such requirements or indicating the respects in which it does not. I. Low growth report at any time, CBO shall notify the Congress if, 1. During the period consisting of the quarter during which such notification is given, the quarter preceding such notification, and the four quarters following such notification, CBO or OMB has determined that real economic growth is projected or estimated to be less than zero with respect to each of any two consecutive quarters within such period, or 2. The most recent of the Department of Commerce's advanced preliminary your final reports of actual real economic growth indicate that the rate of real economic growth for each of the most recently reported quarter and the immediately preceding quarter is less than 1%. J. Economic and technical assumptions in all reports required by this section. OMB shall use the same economic and technical assumptions as used in the most recent budget submitted by the President under Section 1105A of Title 31. 2 U.S. Code Paragraph 905. Exempt Programs and Activities. A. Social Security Benefits and Tier I Railroad Retirement Benefits Benefits Payable Under the Old Age, Survivors, and Disability Insurance Program Established Under Title II of the Social Security Act, 42 U.S.C. 401 at SEC and benefits payable under Sections 231b and 231c 1 of Title 45 shall be exempt from reduction under any order issued under this subchapter. B. Veterans Programs The following programs shall be exempt from reduction under any order issued under this subchapter. All programs administered by the Department of Veterans Affairs. Special benefits for certain World War II veterans, 28-0401-0-1-701. C. Net interest no reduction of payments for net interest, all of major functional category 900 shall be made under any order issued under this subchapter. D. Refundable income tax credits and certain elective payments. 1. Refundable income tax credits payments to individuals made pursuant to provisions of Title 26 establishing refundable tax credits shall be exempt from reduction under any order issued under this part. 2. Certain elective payments payments made to taxpayers pursuant to elections under subsection D of Section 48D of Title 26, or amounts treated as payments which are made by taxpayers under paragraph 1 of such subsection, shall be exempt from reduction under any order issued under this part. E. Non-defense unobligated balances Unobligated balances of budget authority carried over from prior fiscal years, except balances in the defense category, shall be exempt from reduction under any order issued under this subchapter. F. Optional exemption of military personnel 1. In general the President may, with respect to any military personnel account, exempt that account from sequestration or provide for a lower uniform percentage reduction than would otherwise apply. 2. Limitation The President may not use the authority provided by paragraph 1 unless the President notifies the Congress of the manner in which such authority will be exercised on or before the date specified in section 904A of this title for the budget year. 
G. Other programs and activities. 1. A. The following budget accounts and activities shall be exempt from reduction under any order issued under the subchapter. Activities resulting from private donations, bequests, or voluntary contributions to the government. Activities financed by voluntary payments to the government for goods or services to be provided for such payments. Administration of Territories, Northern Mariana Islands Covenant Grants, 14-0412-0-1-808. Advances to the Unemployment Trust Fund and other funds, 16-0327-0-1-600. Black Lung Disability Trust Fund Refinancing, 16-0329-0-1-601. Bonneville Power Administration Fund and Borrowing Authority established pursuant to Section 13 of Public Law 93454-1974, as amended, 16 U.S.C. 838-K, 89-4045-0-3-271. Claims, Judgments, and Relief Acts, 20-1895-0-1-808. Compact of Free Association, 14-0415-0-1-808. Compensation of the President, 11-0209-01-1-802. Comptroller of the Currency, Assessment Funds, 20-8413-0-8-373. Continuing Fund, Southeastern Power Administration, 89-5653-0-2-271. Continuing Fund, Southwestern Power Administration, 89-5649-0-2-271. Creating helpful incentives to produce semiconductors chips for America Fund. Creating helpful incentives to produce semiconductors chips for America Defense Fund. Creating helpful incentives to produce semiconductors chips for America International Technology Security and Innovation Fund. Creating helpful incentives to produce semiconductors chips for America Workforce and Education Fund. 2. Dual Benefits Payments Account, 60-0111-0-1-601. Emergency Fund, Western Area Power Administration, 89-5069-0-2-271. Exchange Stabilization Fund, 20-4444-0-3-155. Farm Credit Administration Operating Expenses Fund, 78-4131-0-3-351. Farm Credit System Insurance Corporation, Farm Credit Insurance Fund, 78-4171-0-3-351. Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, Deposit Insurance Fund, 51-4596-0-4-373. Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, FSLIC Resolution Fund, 51-4065-0-3-373. Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, Non-Interest Bearing Transaction Account Guarantee, 51-4458-0-3-373. Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, Senior Unsecured Debt Guarantee, 51-4457-0-3-373 Federal Home Loan Mortgage Corporation, Freddie Mac Federal Housing Finance Agency, Administrative Expenses, 95-5532-0-2-371 Federal National Mortgage Corporation, Fannie Mae Federal Payment to the District of Columbia Judicial Retirement and Survivors Annuity Fund, 20-1713-0-1-752 Federal Payment to the District of Columbia Pension Fund, 20-1714-0-1-601. Federal Payments to the Railroad Retirement Accounts, 60-0113-0-1-601. Federal Reserve Bank Reimbursement Fund, 20-1884-0-1-803. Financial Agent Services, 20-1802-0-1-803. Foreign Military Sales Trust Fund, 11-8242-0-7-155 Hazardous Waste Management, Conservation Reserve Program, 12-4336-0-3-999 Host Nation Support Fund for Relocation, 97-8337-0-7-051 Internal Revenue Collections for Puerto Rico, 20-5737-0-2-806 Intergovernmental Funds including those from which the outlays are derived primarily from resources paid in from other government accounts, except to the extent such funds are augmented by direct appropriations for the fiscal year during which an order is in effect. Medical Facilities Guarantee and Loan Fund, 75-9931-0-3-551. National Credit Union Administration, Central Liquidity Facility, 25-4470-0-3-373. National Credit Union Administration, Corporate Credit Union Share Guarantee Program, 25-4476-0-3-376. National Credit Union Administration, Credit Union Homeowners Affordability Relief Program, 25-4473-0-3-371. 
National Credit Union Administration, Credit Union Share Insurance Fund, 25-4468-0-3-373. National Credit Union Administration, Credit Union System Investment Program, 25-4474-0-3-376. National Credit Union Administration, Operating Fund, 25-4056-0-3-373. National Credit Union Administration, Share Insurance Fund Corporate Debt Guarantee Program, 25-4469-0-3-376. National Credit Union Administration, U.S. Central Federal Credit Union Capital Program, 25-4475-0-3-376. Office of Thrift Supervision, 20-4108-0-3-373. Panama Canal Commission Compensation Fund, 16-5155-0-2-602. Payment of Vietnam and USS Pueblo prisoner of war claims within the salaries and expenses, foreign claims settlement account, 15-0100-0-1-153. Payment to Civil Service Retirement and Disability Fund, 24-0200-0-1-805. Payment to Department of Defense Medicare Eligible Retiree Health Care Fund, 97-0850-0-1-054. Payment to Judiciary Trust Funds, 10-0941-0-1-752. Payment to Military Retirement Fund, 97-0040-0-1-054. Payment to the Foreign Service Retirement and Disability Fund, 19-0540-0-1-153. Payments to Copyright Owners, 03-5175-0-2-376. Payments to Healthcare Trust Funds, 75-0580-0-1-571. Payment to Radiation Exposure Compensation Trust Fund, 15-0333-0-1-054. Payments to Social Security Trust Funds, 28-0404-0-1-651. Payments to the United States Territories, Fiscal Assistance, 14-0418-0-1-806. Payments to Trust Funds from Excise Taxes or Other Receipts Properly Creditable to Such Trust Funds. Payments to widows and heirs of deceased members of Congress, 00-0215-0-1-801. Postal Service Fund, 18-4020-0-3-372. Public Wireless Supply Chain Innovation Fund. Radiation Exposure Compensation Trust Fund, 15-8116-0-1-054. Reimbursement to Federal Reserve Banks, 20-0562-0-1-803. Salaries of Article III Judges. Soldiers and Airmen's Home, Payment of Claims, 84-8930-0-7-705. Tennessee Valley Authority Fund, Accept Non-Power Programs and Activities, 64-4110-0-3-999. Tribal and Indian Trust Accounts within the Department of the Interior which fund prior legal obligations of the government or which are established pursuant to Acts of Congress regarding federal management of tribal real property or other fiduciary responsibilities, including but not limited to Tribal Special Fund, 14-5265-0-2-452, Tribal Trust Fund, 14-8030-0-7-452, White Earth Settlement, 14-2204-0-1-452, and Indian Water Rights and Habitat Acquisition, 14-5505-0-2-303. United Mine Workers of America 1992 Benefit Plan, 95-8260-0-7-551. United Mine Workers of America 1993 Benefit Plan, 95-8535-0-7-551. United Mine Workers of America Combined Benefit Fund, 95-8295-0-7-551. United States Enrichment Corporation Fund, 95-4054-0-3-271. Universal Service Fund, 27-5183-0-2-376. Vaccine Injury Compensation, 75-0320-0-1-551. Vaccine Injury Compensation Program Trust Fund, 20-8175-0-7-551. B. The following federal retirement and disability accounts and activities shall be exempt from reduction under any order issued under this subchapter, Black Lung Disability Trust Fund. 20-8144-0-7-601 Central Intelligence Agency Retirement and Disability System Fund 56-3400-0-1-054 Civil Service Retirement and Disability Fund 24-8135-0-7-602 Controllers General Retirement System 05-0107-0-1-801 
contributions to U.S. Park Police annuity benefits, other permanent appropriations, 14-9924-0-2-303. Court of Appeals for Veterans Claims Retirement Fund, 95-8290-0-7-705. Department of Defense Medicare Eligible Retiree Health Care Fund, 97-5472-0-2-551. District of Columbia Federal Pension Fund, 20-5511-0-2-601. District of Columbia Judicial Retirement and Survivors Annuity Fund, 20-8212-0-7-602. Energy Employees Occupational Illness Compensation Fund, 16-1523-0-1053. Foreign National Employees Separation Pay, 97-8165-0-7-051. Foreign Service National Defined Contributions Retirement Fund, 19-5497-0-2-602. Foreign Service National Separation Liability Trust Fund, 19-8340-0-7-602. Foreign Service Retirement and Disability Fund, 19-8186-0-7-602. Government Payment for Annuitants, Employees Health Benefits, 24-0206-0-1-551. Government Payment for Annuitants, Employee Life Insurance, 24-0500-0-1-602. Judicial Officers Retirement Fund, 10-8122-0-7-602. Judicial Survivors Annuities Fund, 10-8110-0-7-602. Military Retirement Fund, 97-8097-0-7-602. National Railroad Retirement Investment Trust, 60-8118-0-7-601 National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration Retirement, 13-1450-0-1-306 Pensions for Former Presidents, 47-0105-0-1-802 Postal Service Retiree Health Benefits Fund, 24-5391-0-2-551 Public Safety Officer Benefits, 15-0403-0-1-754 Rail Industry Pension Fund, 60-8011-0-7-601. Retired Pay, Coast Guard, 70-0602-0-1-403. Retirement Pay and Medical Benefits for Commissioned Officers, Public Health Service, 75-0379-0-1-551. September 11th Victim Compensation Fund, 15-0340-0-1-754. Special Benefits for Disabled Coal Miners, 16-0169-0-1-601. Special Benefits, Federal Employees Compensation Act, 16-1521-0-1-600. Special Workers' Compensation Expenses, 16-9971-0-7-601. Tax Court Judges Survivors Annuity Fund, 23-8115-0-7-602. United States Court of Federal Claims Judges Retirement Fund, 10-8124-0-7-602 United States Secret Service, DC Annuity, 70-0400-0-1-751 Victims' Compensation Fund established under Section 410 of the Air Transportation Safety and System Stabilization Act, 49 U.S.C. 40101 Note United States Victims of State-Sponsored Terrorism Fund Voluntary Separation Incentive Fund, 97-8335-0-7-051 World Trade Center Health Program Fund, 75-0946-0-1-551. 2. Prior legal obligations of the government in the following budget accounts and activities shall be exempt from any order issued under this subchapter. Biomass Energy Development, 20-0114-0-1-271. Check Forgery Insurance Fund, 20-41090-0-3-803. Credit Liquidating Accounts. Credit Reestimates. Employees Life Insurance Fund, 24-8424-0-8-602. Federal Aviation Insurance Revolving Fund, 69-4120-0-3-402. Federal Crop Insurance Corporation Fund, 12-4085-0-3-351. Federal Emergency Management Agency, National Flood Insurance Fund, 58-4236-0-3-453. Geothermal Resources Development Fund, 89-0206-0-1-271 Low Rent Public Housing, Loans and Other Expenses, 86-4098-0-3-604 Maritime Administration, War Risk Insurance Revolving Fund, 69-4302-0-3-403 
Natural Resource Damage Assessment Fund, 14-1618-0-1-302. United States International Development Finance Corporation. Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation Fund, 16-4204-0-3-601. San Joaquin Restoration Fund, 14-5537-0-2-301. Service Members Group Life Insurance Fund, 36-4009-0-3-701. Terrorism Insurance Program, 20-0123-0-1-376. H. Low-income programs The following programs shall be exempt from reduction under any order issued under this subchapter. Academic Competitiveness Smart Grant Program, 91-0205-0-1-502. Child Care Entitlement to States, 75-1550-0-1-609. Child Enrollment Contingency Fund, 75-5551-0-2-551 Child Nutrition Programs, with the exception of Special Milk Programs, 12-3539-0-1-605 Children's Health Insurance Fund, 75-0515-0-1-551 Commodity Supplemental Food Program, 12-3507-0-1-605 Contingency Fund, 75-1522-0-1-609 Family Support Programs, 75-1501-0-1-609 Federal Pell Grants under Section 1070A of Title 20 Grants to States for Medicaid, 75-0512-0-1-551 Payments for Foster Care and Permanency, 75-1545-0-1-609 Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, 12-3505-0-1-605 Supplemental Security Income Program, 28-0406-0-1-609 Temporary Assistance for Needy Families, 75-1552-0-1-609 I. Economic Recovery Programs The following programs shall be exempt from reduction under any order issued under this subchapter. GSE Preferred Stock Purchase Agreements, 20-0125-0-1-371 Office of Financial Stability 20-0128-0-1-376 Special Inspector General for the Troubled Asset Relief Program, 20-0133-0-1-376 J. Split Treatment Programs Each of the following programs shall be exempt from any order under this subchapter to the extent that the budgetary resources of such programs are subject to obligation limitations and appropriations bills. Federal Aid Highways, 69-8083-0-7-401 Highway Traffic Safety Grants, 69-8020-0-7-401 Operations and Research NHTSA and National Driver Register, 69-8016-0-7-401 Motor Carrier Safety Operations and Programs, 69-8159-0-7-401 Motor Carrier Safety Grants, 69-8158-0-7-401 Formula and Bus Grants, 69-8350-0-7-401 Grants in aid for airports, 69-8106-0-7-402 K. Identification of programs for purposes of subsections B, G, and H. Each account is identified by the designated budget account identification code number set forth in the budget of the United States Government 2010 Appendix, and an activity within an account is designated by the name of the activity and the identification code number of the account.